Hello everyone, I am Miss Benita and I live and teach in Seattle, Washington. I am helping my Denver friend, Miss Fun, create videos for you so that you can continue learning from home. Let's get started. We are working on the last chapter of changing landforms for second grade. We're looking at exploring how landforms erode quickly. So let's get started. This video has two activities, and we will first start off with what we know and what questions we have about landforms eroding quickly. We concluded that Oceanside Recreation Center's cliff eroded very slowly, bit by bit. Many of us included this in our explanations. This is a cliff that is very close to the Recreation Center's cliff. This cliff eroded quickly. We will call it the nearby cliff. From our scientific explanations and diagrams, Hector Higgins knows that the Recreation Center's cliff is changing slowly. However, he's still worried because a big chunk of the nearby cliff fell off overnight. Our next job as geologists is to investigate what caused it to erode so quickly. Our chapter four question, could the recreation center's cliff erode quickly? We need to learn more about what makes some landforms stable and other landforms less stable. Scientists often study one landform to help them understand another. Today, we are going to investigate this question. How can landforms erode quickly? We'll fill out this chart about landforms eroding quickly. It is page four of your packet. And if you do not have a packet, you can easily use whatever paper you have available to you at home. Notice that our investigation question is written on the chart. How can landforms erode quickly? What ideas do you have about how landforms can erode quickly? Remember that you will be able to answer this question by either writing it down in your packet, telling someone, thinking or thinking about it in your head. So I would like you to Think about what you know and write it down on this column of your, of your handout. Take a moment, pause the video to do so. Welcome back. So what ideas did we have? Oh, okay. Some of you said big waves crashed up against the nearby cliff. Let's add that. What else? Oh, all right, some of you said a big storm came through. We'll add that. What questions do you have about how landforms can erode quickly? What do you wonder about how this might happen? I would like you to add those wonderings and questions on the right hand part of the handout. Go ahead and pause the video and do so. All right, welcome back. This is our last activity for this part of the lesson, drawing or diagramming the nearby cliff. Let's pause a minute to remember what this word diagramming is about. In lesson two, you had a diagram that showed three events with the one in the middle missing details. And you were asked what happened to the water in the time between a long time ago and now. The word diagram means an illustration that shows how something works or what its parts are. And when I think of an illustration, I can use the word drawing as well. Let's do that. A diagram is a drawing that shows how something works and what its parts are. 
Now that we've discussed some ideas about how landforms can erode quickly, we will create diagrams to show how we think the nearby cliff eroded overnight. In page five of your packet, this diagram is similar to the one we used to show how the Recreation Center's cliff changed, but we'll be diagramming the nearby cliff instead. Let's take a look at the directions. You're gonna complete the diagram and caption. It says, look at the first picture in the diagram below and read its caption. Number two, complete the second picture in the diagram and complete the caption to explain how the nearby cliff changed. And direction three, look at the third picture in the diagram and read its caption. Remember, you can answer this question by writing it down in your packet, by talking with a family member about your ideas, or thinking about it in your head. Go ahead and pause the video and work on this. Hi, welcome back. Let's review. Some of you said various things. Let's take a look. Oh, okay, so some of you said, Overnight, a big storm happened. This caused big chunks of land to fall. Others of you said big waves crashed against the surface of the cliff, causing those big chunks of land to fall. All right. In this lesson, we thought about how big events can cause land forms to erode quickly. Looking forward to seeing you in the next part of this lesson. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. I am Miss Benita. I live and teach in Seattle, Washington, and I am helping Miss Fun, my Denver friend, make these videos for you to continue learning at home. We are continuing with lesson four, exploring how landforms erode quickly. Let's get started. This video has two activities, and we are going to return to a reading about how landforms erode quickly. We brainstormed and diagrammed our ideas about how a landform can erode quickly. We can also use this book to investigate how landforms erode quickly. You've read this one before. Landmark of, or hand, Handbook of Land and Water. I've been calling it Landmark. All right, this page is page six of your packet. And again, if you do not have the packet, any piece of paper that you have at home, and a pencil will suffice. We'll gather ideas about how landforms can erode quickly and record them in the table. Not every landform in the book will have evidence about this, so we need to read carefully for what we are seeking. Let's look at the directions. Number one, read about at least two landforms in the handbook of land and water. Number two, List each landform on the left side of the table. And number three, on the right side of the table, explain how the landforms can erode quickly. You can use the table of contents or page 10 to find different landforms to read about. You can also visit this website. It's a YouTube website of Ms. Fung reading the book. I'll record information about caves in the first row. Follow along in your books as I show what to do. Page 15 of the book. These pages are about caves, but do not contain information about how caves erode quickly. It says caves are landforms, but they are not on Earth's surface. Caves are found underground. Caves are so cool. Caves are underground openings with walls of rock. Some caves have big spaces. Others are just narrow tunnels. Rocks and caves have often have surprising shapes. It says nothing about eroding quickly. Cool information, but let's move on. Page 17. 
this page explains how caves change slowly. It will not help us gather ideas about how caves erode quickly. Let's look at page 18. Look at this heading, How Caves Change Fast. This heading tells us that this page should be helpful as we think about how landforms can erode quickly. I'll read the page out loud. The roof of a cave may fall suddenly. This is called a cave-in. Cave-ins happen when rock is weak and cracked. The cracks make the cave less stable. Cave-ins can make new cave openings. They can also block cave tunnels. A cave-in changes a cave in seconds. The roof of this cave fell in. You can see the new opening. The pieces of fallen rock are below. That heading was very helpful. Cave-ins happen when the rock is weak or cracked. I am visualizing rock that can break easily. This helps me understand why the cave suddenly fell apart. Using what I visualized and the information about cave-ins on page 18 helps me complete the table. When the rock of a cave is weak or cracked, it is less stable. Less stable rock can fall down. Read about landforms and complete the table. Visualize what you read before recording your ideas. Go ahead and pause the video so that you can work on this. All right, let's review. Some of you chose page 14. How beaches change fast. Sometimes erosion happens quickly. Beaches are made of sand or other loose material, so they are not as stable as some other landforms. One storm can erode a beach fast because a lot of material can move at once. If storm waves and gusts of wind hit a beach with enough power, they can carry away huge amounts of sand in a single day. We'll add that here. All right, some of you looked at page 30 and chose mountains as your landform that can change quickly. Usually mountains erode very slowly. Every once in a while though, erosion happens fast. For example, if part of a mountain is not stable, it can fall quickly in a landslide. In a landslide, gravel or other loose material slides down the side of the mountain. Landslides often happen during big rainstorms when a lot of water flows down a mountain and moves a lot of material at once. When the rock that makes up a mountain is cracked, those cracks can make the mountain less stable. This makes landslides more likely. We'll add that right here. All right, that was quick. Let's look at activity two, discussing landforms that erode quickly. There's a series of questions on page seven in your packet. You might wanna pause the video right now and take a moment to answer those questions. We will do this together as well. All right, let's discuss landforms that arose quickly. What can cause landforms to be less stable? Okay, some of you said loose materials or cracks in the rock. What is an example of a landform that can erode quickly because of cracks in the rock? Some of you said a cave or a mountain. What is an example of a landform that can erode quickly because it is made of loose materials? A beach, some of you said a valley. And these are things that you found in the handbook. Let's turn to page 22. This is an example of how an island can change quickly, but it is not an example of erosion, even though the heading says 
change fast. Let's take a look. Still need to read. Some islands are really the tops of volcanoes. Isn't that a cool idea? Lava comes out of a volcano. The lava cools and hardens into rock. That rock becomes a new part of the island. A volcano can add rock to an island very quickly. It can add new land to the island within a day. This picture shows hot lava flowing into the edge of an island. The lava will cool and harden into rock. This adds rock to the island fast. This is a lot of really interesting information and it's really good to know, but it doesn't help us with the task at hand and that is how things erode quickly. In this lesson, we observe a pattern that landforms with cracks or landforms made of loose materials can erode quickly. In the next lesson, we will use models to investigate the idea that loose materials affect how fast a landform erodes. Thank you for spending time with me, and I hope to see you soon.